Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Programming is Fun. Today I'm gonna tell you how to select the non-continuous or continuous data in the row using VB programming in greater details. So friends, please watch and that video tutorial for understanding the numerics way. So here I have three columns. I want to select the first column like that. So friends, this is a very pretty and easy to learn method for who are beginner or intermediate in a VB programming. So let's get start. So now I am press Alt F11. Now I'm setting a module and declare a procedure sub. Select the non-continuous data. So in this video tutorial, I'm sharing a lot of ways to select uh, the uh, column. So, so I'm I'm sharing a first way here. So this is the first way. So range A one and A. So this is the beginning part of A A one. Now, now we are concatenation. A last part of that column. So last part of that column is twenty-seven. So so twenty-seven means this is the row. So cells rows dot count. Which column is the first dot and Excel up dot row dot select. Now I'm telling you how it is work. So cells rows dot count shows that. How many rows in the Excel? Everybody know that in a Excel ten lakh forty eight thousand five hundred seventy six rows. So uh, after that, it goes to end Excel up means it stop here twenty seventh row. So and and we have already declared the beginning part from A one. So A one dot colon A and it gives to twenty seven. Fine. So now I am pressing F eight. See select. So this is the how many rows is the ten lakh forty eight thousand five hundred six is goes to an x l up dot row dot select. So this is work like that goes to here. And after that it stop here and goes to up. Fine. So now I'm sharing a second way. Second way is. Also easy. So now we are gonna to select a column B. So range B one range B and cells rows dot count. And Excel up dot row dot select. So range fine. So uh, this is the beginning part, and this is the last part of that column. So this is the last part. So. This is also very pretty easy method. Now I am sharing with you a third way. Third way is like that. We are going to select a three data three. So this is the range C one range. You can say declare here C. And simple rows dot count dot and Excel up dot select fine. So this is a very short and very pretty methods. Now I am sharing a fourth way. So fourth way is very different for range. 
is d1 sorry we want to select the first column no? so this a1 and you can use here long bracket a1 dot cells rows dot count and we need to write one dot and excel up dot select fine so here we have the already declared the beginning part a1 and the cells rows dot count dot run dot and xlf dot select in this method whenever you are using in this method you need to put always mandatory here is a one no need to write one uh, two and three and more so here you need to write one so now this is the fifth way so fifth way we are selecting a second column so range in this method, I am going to use cells property, the cells and which row we want to. So uh, cells means you can see that the row is two dot cells rows dot count two. and Excel up dot select see fine. fine so this is also good now I'm saving a six methods so the six methods you can once again use a property cells now we are selecting a first so first the first row and first column range beginning part of the range is a and now we are concatenating the last rows dot count no need to write here so count dot and excel up dot select see fine so seventh way so seventh way once again we are using cells property range cells now we are going to select in second column so this is the first row and this is the second column cells once again, I am right putting our cells, cells because I am declaring a rows dot uh, and row, the rows dot count. This is the last declaration of the row and second column dot and cell up dot row which column two dot select so so I am what is the error in that so here this is the syntax error oh we are forgetting of bracket so now I am pressing F8 see so this is the beginning part and this is the last part of second column fine so now I am sharing a eighth way. So friends, eighth way, this is a very different and very easy methods. So now I'm expanding this. This is a very easy. So now I'm gonna select a first column. So I'm making right range, beginning part of that row. 
beginning part of a1 now column now i'm concatenation so draw range this is the a cells rows dot count is one dot and excel up dot row dot address dot select see so this is the beginning part and this is the last part and after that we are selecting last part last part address so this is the address we are concatenation by ampersand is the a1 and the last a27 fine and now i'm showing a last and ninth way this is a very pretty and easy and this is the very shortest method to select a non continuous row so range d1 so you can so and now we are concatenation everybody know that how many rows in the excel so you can write here b 1 lakh 10 lakh sorry for 10 lakh 48576 fine dot and excel up dot address dot select in this method we never use a row fine so because we have already declared how many rows in the excel fine you can write here so you can see the it gives the last uh, row number which is b22 so now i am pressing f8 you will see fine so friends this is a very easy and pretty methods you can learn a lot of things from uh, this video, video tutorial so so friends uh, now i am ending my video tutorial please keep learning and subscribe my channel and share this video thank you